Hi guys, in this quick video I will explain you how to detect collisions in Unity Visual Scripting and also what is the difference between the on trigger and on collision nodes. Let's get started. So my setup is pretty simple, I just have two objects one which has a box collider and this is set to is trigger which means that the player can just go through the object and the other object which is the collision object and this has just normal collider which means that the player can just collide with the object and then on the player i have just script machine with some graph in which i have added all of those nodes on trigger enter 2d on trigger exit 2d on trigger stay 2d and the same thing with the collision so on collision enter and so on. And also when this node triggers I have just some debug.log that it tells me in the console what has happened. And I have just created variables for those two objects and assigned them. So the on trigger nodes I have the trigger object. And if you are in 3D you can easily use the just on trigger enter node and this is just the 3D. But when you are using the 2D, you want to make sure that you have the 2D here. So now we can try to play the game and see how it works. So when I enter the trigger, which is this one, the object which I can go through when I got into it, you can see that it says on trigger enter. And when I'm moving in it, it is saying trigger stay. And when I exit, it says trigger exit. Just pretty simple stuff. And with the on collision, when I collide, it says collision enter. And when I'm still going into the object, it is saying collision stay. And when I get out of the collision, it says collision exit. So this is just pretty simple stuff. I think it all makes sense. So you can check this code once more so that you know what is happening. And I will show just some example on how you can use the on collision enter. So for example, when you have some coin and when you collide with the coin, you want to collect it. So let's say that we have the on trigger enter. So first we would need to know if we have actually collided with the coin and not with just some other object. For this, I can delete that stuff and you can see that the output has the collider. So I can easily say tag get, game object tag get and it will get me tag of the object. So for the coin, I could uh, set the tag, add some tag to the coin. And like this, I would know that I have collided with the coin object. So if this would be equal to the tag of coin, or it can be anything else, then we could, for example, destroy the object. So I could just say destroy game object that destroy and which object I can easily connect it to the collider. But first I need to get game object from the collider because I want to destroy the whole object and not just the collider. So I can just say collider to the game object get and destroy the object. And here I would obviously need to disconnect the trigger object because when the player, which is this object, triggers with something, then it can destroy the coin object. So this is one way how you could use the on trigger enter. There's obviously many other ways how you can use it. And so just like this, you could, for example, make collecting of the coins. The same way you could make it with the on collision enter that for example you could have some spike and when some collision happens it could damage the player. So this would be pretty similar, we would just get the tag of the object that the player is colliding with and if this is equal to the tag we could just uh, subtract the player's health. So I hope that now you understand those notes a bit better, they are pretty useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!